So we, go, we coming to you live, um, Diddy Late Nights, um, when anything can happen, I'm just vibing, so why? So why? You gotta keep, you gotta keep that. So tell come here, cartel this morning upon Oak Curry, happy birthday. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little, if anything, to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holness, it is so very sad what is happening to our Prime Minister. Miss um, Nikki, there is something that I want to say to you. I don't know if I might be able to speak to you again. Um, I'm just going to say to you, though, there is this guy down here by the name of Washington Gardner. You, have you seen him or seen everything about him? Nicki Minaj. Hi. Oh, my. Hello, people, and welcome to Island Chess TV. Coming up in this report, we are going to talk about PDD, you know, people, because a beer madness around PDD, you know. We are discuss that also. Ellie Lewis talk about Vice Cartel, you know. And he must say, yo, Richard Curry, if you follow Vice Cartel and thing. I'm going to make you hear what Ellie Lewis have to say. Also, uh, Dr. Omar Jansen, he must speak on the whole PDD um, situation and thing. And he have some interesting things for say, people. So I'm going to share that with also a lady from TikTok, I seek help from Nicki Minaj for a youth named Washington. You get to me, I say, the youth on TikTok where him face swell up bad and things so she actually seek some help from Nicki Minaj for help you I'm going to share the video there with you know, also people and Spice you know she am a look at you there you know with a fish you know with a part of TikTok you know named Landy you see me yeah man she just do a look at thing because man they are going away when time him realize that Nicki Minaj I'm going to talk to him I behave like a some look at girl you know so I'm going to share that with you know, also people so just stay tuned in right after this everything I forward up Introducing Island Choice TV your ultimate destination for entertainment and happenings in and around Jamaica and across the world with a wide range of programs, including music, news, sports, and culture. Island Choice TV is your main choice for staying up to date with all the latest events and trends from Jamaica. Tune in to Island Choice TV, your main choice for all things Jamaica and beyond. All this time that I spent up in here got me thinking about the things that I did. Hello people and welcome back in you know, the people at a PDD I get comfortable in a um, new look um one bedroom apartment. You know, I'm a remnant for the time when I'm usually um have a big mansion where I could have moved all about to get to me and say, no, I mean I look at um one bedroom apartment. You see me I'm still trying to figure out what I go on. Yeah man people, but you don't know you know people this way um a whole system to the majority of black men in America, you know, people. After them give them um all I see man thing and money. And think people them try if you um disgrace them character back and thing after a while. You get to me and say so sometimes I for wonder, you know, if it, you know, to me it come like it's a joke thing where them do with most uh, black man. You get to me and say, either them put them in a dress, either them tell them say them a pedophile or something, them always try if you damage them and them character. You get to me and say, so I don't know why them always do this to him and them. But the NID still, you know, if a man them know say yo, them straight and I walk the right road, you know, them have nothing for about, you know, you get to me and say so if P D D they do the right thing and know say yo, him na run in pan a man back door or them thing there. He mother know say alright then he mother the pan the right chap. But when you do it thing them, you know, I saw them really can get for um put all of them thing against you know. You get what I say sometimes man them need to hold out man cause that them thing and them use that damage on you know, the character in ID. Nobody watch the film and not know where them are going no man, cause all of them thing there is just for um for a while. You get what I say that's all them do with the black man them in America. You use them. Use them, you get to me and say, if you carry out them agenda after them done with them, you know, they just disgrace them and damage them character, then left them. You get to me and say, I lock them up in a prison. You get to me and say, Man, you say, I be eating a come out, I will see me in a hot water to you. Know. I play the video, I come and see what I go and will see me to her. So, to take a listen at this video. Yeah. All right, I open the door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. Who was on top? It wasn't a top. There was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. It was murder in there. Okay. What did you do? I, I, I froze. What did you, <laughs> I, see, I'm not used to seeing. Listen, it, it's traumatizing. Like, to, like, I've never seen it. I don't watch gay porn. You know, I never seen a, a man fucking another man. Oh, Will Smith was bent over. And and Dwayne was killing him. Condom? I don't know. I, I don't. You didn't look that close. Listen, I'm, 
even when I was with the deer in the headlights and I finally said, oh shit. And they turned around and said, close the fucking door, right? So I back out the door. I'm not going in there. Fuck no, I ain't going up in there. I back out the door, lock the door. I leave. Will says, I got to talk to you. So I said, uh, come like, it's a thing with the whole of them, um, celebrity, and you come like the whole of them have to go through, um, this back door thing, you know, that's, um, to be which part of them, they come like, you can't find enough street people in Hollywood where go through, do the right thing. You get to me and say, all of them have corruption part of them name. You get to me and say, not as a black one, them alone, but as I mean, say, them always quick for this crazy black people. They may get to me and say, because me ain't really and truly, you know, they're really puppet in the whole thing. You, know? you get to me and say, because I don't know, say, is a white people system already. Them build them fifty man, the black man, them just apartheid. You get to me and say, so what them doing? You know, them not really quick for shoot both them white brother, but them quick for dash out the black man, them because I feed them fifty. Him. Now them control it. Take it to me and say, the man them just straighten up them thing, man, and stop making the man them jar them out and do all one bag of thing and for him, look for money and thing. You get to me and say, because enough people have all them pitney. And that's what pitney to an adult to look up to, you know, to you know, good things. I'm not frightened for a celebrity boy or girl still, so I never really feel you know, as nobody different from a regular person. You get to me and say, yeah, man, so I just that, that for that still people. People, but you don't know, say, so, um, Williams, they tell you what I'm going from long time, you know, people. Yeah, man, if they show you what I'm going from long time, you know, video, I mean, take, take a listen at these people. Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties, and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party, and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms, and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? It's one of them Yeah, niggas... man, you feed people so them lifestyle or something where people you take time and give you one hint and two hints from long time. You get what I mean? I say, and they're really nothing new, so... I already feel come out right you know, you know, people. I just ready them ready for just touch him. I get to mess because I let it a build up from long time and now them just alright then everything I just go at him fully. I get to mess say, yeah man people, may I take a nice listen at this report. Don claims Diddy wasn't just financially abusive. He was physically inappropriate too. She says he'd make her strip down to her underwear, humiliate her by calling her all kinds of names, lazy, ugly, you name it, and criticize her body in front of his entourage. Once, while she was undressing for a fitting, Diddy groped her, pretending to show a stylist how he wanted her bra straps. He'd also smack her and complain that she was too skinny, like it was some kind of joke. And don't even get me started on the Christmas gift he suggested, breast implants. He actually told her, you're an A cup. I'm thinking D. Imagine your boss saying that. As if all that wasn't enough, Dawn was also stuck in the middle of Diddy's infamous freak-off parties. You know the ones, wild gatherings where anything went. She'd be in the studio while these parties raged on. And sometimes Diddy would try her in front of everyone, crossing boundaries she didn't want crossed. And this wasn't just a one-off. He did this stuff repeatedly, pushing her to the edge. One of the more heartbreaking parts of her lawsuit is how trapped she felt. Diddy's threats weren't just empty words. He He'd brag about making people disappear and getting away with anything. He had this control over her that went way beyond contracts and money. It was psychological warfare. She was constantly afraid for herself and her family. He even told her, don't call your dad unless you're in the hospital. Like, what does that even mean? Things got even more brutal for Dawn in 2010. After years of Diddy's nonstop grind, her health completely crashed. She was diagnosed with anemia, her white blood cell count tanked, and her joints were basically wrecked with some Thing called arthralgia, which is just a fancy way of saying her body was falling apart. And according to Dawn, it's all thanks to the endless stress and pressure she was put through under Diddy's watch. And let's not forget, Dawn's not the only one making these accusations. So, we already know Cassie sued Diddy for how horrifically he treated her. Like, we've all seen glimpses of it on camera. But Dawn Richard came through with some jaw-dropping details in her lawsuit that paint an even worse picture. Dawn said she witnessed Diddy literally put hands on Cassie in front of everyone, like it was 
was nothing. One of the most shocking moments, Diddy storms into the kitchen, cussing out Cassie, calling her the B word, screaming, you never do anything right, and then throws a hot skillet full of eggs at her. According to Richard, Diddy went off on Cassie for not cooking eggs right. He was high as a kite, choking her and dragging her up the stairs like some kind of monster. A long time, them could have stopped P. Diddy, you know? A long time, but then we hit them and create one bag of damage or damage one bag of people before them stop him. You get what I said? Them shit, why them never stop him from a long time before I, him create so much damage to people? Yeah, man, people, we also have um, Dr. Omar Johnson speak on the whole thing, you know, people. I want to take a listen at this here, what I'm going say. Take a listen. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little, if anything, to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex. What we call prostitution. Not Casey, not the freak-offs, not underage girls, but prostitution. Why am I bringing this up? Because I don't support prostitution either. I do not support men paying for the sugar box. I do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills. With that being said, prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak offs, not stomping out Cassie, not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. That is the charge. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up. Peace, God. Because when I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence of Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes. And I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking. I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Yeah, man, I understand what Dr. Omar Johnson is saying, but yeah, I saying, um, um, Dr. Omar Johnson, if P D didn't ever do not, you know, them would do arrest him. I get to me and say, there is, some, there is something must be on him. That's why they have him um, at this stage where they have him right now. You get to me and say, all the man them need to do is keep them slates clean. You get to me and say, because as I'm saying, you know, if him know he not do nothing, him not for worry himself, if him know he might go beat the keys, but if him know him guilty, you must first accept what come with it. You get to me and say, yeah, man, you don't know, say, I don't see puppet them. You know, all of them are puppet, man. I just have to understand that, that. All of them are puppet. You get to me and say, all of them controlled by um certain type of people. You get to me and say, so, them for them care be who them really want be. That's why them have to do all them type of something because probably that it recommend for them to do so. Make a PDD lawyer defend him. I get to me and say, yeah, man, I'm going to see what his name come out um, after everything done. So tell me your cartel this morning upon oh Curry, happy birthday. Where cartel no Curry from? Cartel Curry ever seen a Gaza son yet? Read that. So people, me just a one cartel people. Let me tell you, you see if cartel keep up that bullshit the way I keep up, cartel you want a big man. You have Tabby Thompson there behind you. Better go look for Leng. Better go look for Evo. Mark Golden and go part Mark Golden cartel. 
Do you know all of the maroon village them know so curry fuck but they are so cocky every one of them know not that, not that and if I lie me tell tell them to come try for proof so lie me tell everybody it is no hiding the head of all the organization and them on curry par you yeah, understand call the emperor name say the emperor love woman me love of 10 sub and 20 sub and woman can't call me name we know God, the greatest kingdom, King Solomon, I hate your toes, woman, and man, you sleep with one time, you know. So, and the wife different from the concubine. Yeah, man, people, let's say, hey, Louis, I've been about um, Richard Curry, and I'm say, oh, where's God, if you stop buried him, because I'm a fish, you get me, I'm going to say, let's say, hey, Louis, I've been still, now, I don't know about that, so, that's a that for that. See it there, man, say, no, no money. Man, say, no, no money, no people, and look there. Boy, that man, you are mean. What the? You know, say, so I take you all of it. I take you all of it and put back your bill for them. I take it from. So, you see, when he come and ask me, I this I go make me an mash up. God know. Me have to take you all of that money. Because I need that money, and the boy has said, I no money. Yeah, man, people up next to you know, the people of this lady, you know, from TikTok, you know, name Tiki, you know, you know, try to seek some help for you, when you're in Washington, you know, we have um, a tumor upon him face, you know, people, and he needs some money for do some surgery. I have some um, people over there, you know, I tell uh, the people that help us say, yo, you to um, try to scam them and things. But I say, yo, people can be wicked at times, you know, because you have some youth on TikTok uh, uh, where everything is right about them and they are up people and tell the people about their mother, they still are gift them and them sister the youth are definitely want help because they want help it physical, you see it. Same face fill up and thing and people are trying to stop him and them things. You get what I mean? I say, I respect the lady if you come out and um, try to get some help from Nicki Minaj. You see me if you assist him and things. So, I play the video and I can hear what she has to say on the whole thing. Take a listen at this. Um, Miss Nicki, there is something that I want to say to you. I don't know if I might be able to speak to you again. Um, I'm just going to say to you, though, there is this guy down here by the name of Washington Gardner. You, have you seen him or seen everything about him? That he is no. him. He has a tumor on his face. This is him. This is him. Okay. He is blessed nation. It's mm. over two years now he has been struggling with this tumor. He does mm. get some kind of help because we have been making content about him, bringing awareness to the Ill illness. We really don't want to lose him. If you know of any how that, you know, him could have go overseas or get some sort of help to get him to do the surgery. Him do, him, as I say, him get some help already, but he still want more. And some people has taken it on themselves to try to solicit money from people for him to collect money on his behalf. Some people set up mm. business. Some people open go for me for him and even rent apartment set up business. So mm. whenever time he's, he, 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 he realize that people are scamming him, or a child mm. use him to collect money in them turn against him. him. Mm. He really needs how is, is he how old is he? Is he a minor? No, he's not a minor. He's about some early twenties right there. He's not a minor. Okay. He's not um, let me look let me look and let me ask about it. Let me ask some people out here about it, what they would recommend and who and who he could go to see. And he's currently in Jamaica? He's in Jamaica. Even if he can go Cuba, because me and them have um, medical teams in Cuba mm -hmm. that might be able to help him. But he has financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. He has no parents, nobody to really mm -hmm. care for him. He's just him alone. Him alone in a it, a fight this. And him been here on TikTok here. Me not beg for help. People bring him down. So tell me now, Miss Nikki, how can someone be scamming people in this condition? Make it make sense. Because they're sick. They're sick. It's sad. It's sad. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Sometimes some may have to take on all some people if you because trust me. Trust me. Look on him condition. See me here. Mm. This is his page. Mm. Blessed Nation. Um Washington Garden. This is his page. Um he has got some money in his GoFundMe and a lot of people try to go over there and report it because they want the go for me to bring down the go yes they report it some people all some jamaics there even yesterday there was a guy and two 
females one of the females collect some money and is be off and she rented herself she started her own business of her you know oh and she rent herself all new appointment um, apartment and all because and some things one of them guy over here when him chant something another them try to help him but them take it and cuss him then take it and use him while they might help him they might try to harass him they want to receive them want to this so true that now when they get donations with him then take for them half and give them give him what them feel like mm -hmm. whenever him try to spot the rape with them so they might try to use solicit money from people and be of him and him try to take himself them tend to company me and try to bring him down tell people say my teeth he must scam people look what kind of scamming then i saw him would have really wicked to himself how can he be scamming people like this when people respect the lady of your try to get some help and assistance for the youth because a long time in the pan tiktok and i try um get little help and, ch and thing and i tell her everybody just a skip around him and i run go over where them feel like a fish and he look a idiot they make it to me and say we are bring down jamaica with culture mm -hmm. mommy dear for all i do a vlog to you know i'm there like us all nicky minaj you know i say i'll be a fish she help you know but i love how the lady you know make sure say how oh, she carry to her attention and thing and i try to get some assistance for youth and thing you get to me and say yeah, man, you just go and do your thing, yeah, mama. Big up yourself. Nicki Minaj. Hi. Oh, my! Oh, my, Nicki Minaj. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold well, on, I don't want to cry. Me can talk to you? Of course. All right, then. So, me been a prayer about this. Me been a prayer about this. Me been a prayer about this. And God lead you over here, Miss Nicki Minaj. Yeah, man, people just like how you see Spice and move and I go on people. I saw a little boy pick me and move in when they find out say, um, a Nicki man, Minaj, I'm talking you know, you to him, land deal from over TikTok, you know, people. Same way, man, I move like a woman, people. You get to me and say, yeah, yeah man. man, people, that are that for that, you know, people. Coming up next, you now we have 119, you know, people. You get to me and say, I must speak on the whole, um, Andrew and this thing, you know, we are going go on with him and things. So, take a listen at this, I hear a 119. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holness, it is so very sad what is happening to our Prime Minister. The police descended on the Prime Minister's house one night saying that the Prime Minister was under threat. And up to now, we can't know what this threat was. Is it a top secret? This threat that Andrew Holness came under, him and his household, he and his household were under threat according to the police and they repelled the threat. What is this threat? We are talking about the Prime Minister of the country. The public don't have a right to know what the threat was. In police, JCF, and all who concern in any self-respecting country, the Prime Minister or the President could come on a threat and all the police come out and say it was a threat. But, but, Uno no 119. Uno no 119 have sources all over the place. 119, I know why easy boy you see me in this country. You know? Uno think 119 are quashy in this country. Let me tell you what the grapevine is whispering to me. Based on what the grapevine has been telling 119 in his ears. I have to ask these pertinent questions. Was it a domestic dispute at the Prime Minister's residence? Was there a big fight going on at the residence of the Prime Minister? Did a helper attempt to intervene and break up the fight and could have break up the fight and so had to call the police me not say I saw you going up me no want nobody consume me I am just asking questions and for years for years the rumor mill in Jamaica has had it now that the Prime Minister and his wife 
are not getting along. Is that true? Is it true that the Prime Minister and his wife sleep in separate rooms? These are just questions to be answered. And this turmoil in the country now, who over Andrew Holness finances, and when get so much money, and when I do with him money, and I move up in money, up and down, up and down. There are some pertinent questions in regards to that also. Some questions to be answered. And the first question that I would raise, the first question from 119 is whether we recognize how serious an issue this is. Yeah, man, people, that way, um, one one nine are saying, people, you get to me, I say, I must say, allegedly, look like a fight that go on Andrew Wolnes' house and think that's why police and they try to intervene or whatever, you get to me, I say, and I don't confirm, nobody don't know nothing about that, so I just, he must say that still, so, I don't know when get him source from, but just a share a message, we don't know, message, we don't know anything, people, I'm going to hear what I go on and anything, you get to me, I say, yeah, yeah man, people, next thing we have Roger Wiley, you know, people, I speak, but I interview, and I believe, and I'm not telling, you know, in time Roger Wiley, I do interview, me have to laugh because, because it must sound like him high. <laughs> it does sound like him high. People take a listen to this and tell me all the things. All right, so this is your first time in Belize. So can you tell me what is it that you are expecting? Uh, I don't really know if I expect, to be honest. Just okay. all of us with the Belize people and you know, everything. All right, so tell me how long did your music career, well, when did it start? Like professionally. Mm -hmm. I, I think... My boss, like two years now, I guess, what I say. But I do music long time from me. I go to school, like grade six, I start doing. And if you have anything to share with like the young artists who are coming up, what would be something that you would share to them? Believe, because believe cure everything in a real life. All right, and then I also want you to just give them a little sneak peek of what will be happening. Friday, you know, invite the people who are coming to come and see you. Oh, Tell them yeah. something. Yeah, know, say a madness to bring energy and darkness every time. So I want to forward out, come support the badness. Don't big up all our Belize people. Eh? I really like. All right.